doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. The economy is in a better place than it has been historically. The work that we have been doing to bring prices down is something that we are seeing success with. It's called the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. This bill is fighting inflation. Let me say, this bill is fighting inflation. Again, if it turns out that what I've done so far, what we've done so far, is a mistake, it's going to show. If it turns out that what I've done so far, what we've done so far, is a mistake, it's going to show. Breaking news right now, the latest inflation numbers have just been released. 8.3% is the year-over-year number. This week's Consumer Price Index report revealing prices for groceries jumped 13.5% over the last year. Gas prices continue to hit record highs across the nation and here in the inland northwest. Families across eastern Washington have told me that they're paying nearly double for groceries. With staples like eggs up almost 40% and cereal and milk soaring. Again, coming in hotter than expected and hotter than a lot of economists and a lot of people on this panel thought it was going to come in. What a great day. Exactly four weeks ago today, I signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. The interrupted celebration for a hard, cold dose of reality. Stocks tanking because inflation is accelerating. You're not arguing that 8.3 is good news. No, I'm not saying it is good news. But I mean, it's not here. Maybe I can make it sound like all of a sudden, my God, it went to 8.2 percent. It's been it's the highest inflation rate, Mr. President, in 40 years. I got that. <laughs> 